It's all wiring, uh, permanent or portable, temporary. Now let's start over. Premises wiring or premises wiring system is a, a pretty simple definition. It, it's all wiring, whether it's permanent or uh, temporary, including hardware, fittings, devices, starting at the service point or at the power source, source if there's not a service point, and ending at the outlet or outlets. Okay, so we haven't talked about the service point yet, and that's going to be the subject, I think, in like two or three videos from now, and it's going to be a very, very long video because we're going to talk about the service point, service conductors, service equipment, all of these things. But suffice it to say that the service point is where the utility stops and we start. All right. Now that can be wherever the utility says. Uh, it could be an underground junction box in your front yard. It could be the meter on the outside of your house. It could be the panel board on the outside of your house. It could be the emergency disconnect. It's wherever the utility points at it and says, okay, we're done. Now it's yours. Uh, for commercial buildings, usually it's at the, uh, at the CT enclosure, the current transformer. So all wiring, including hardware, fittings, devices, etc beginning at that service point, so at the end of the utility. Or, if you don't have a utility, because you don't necessarily have to have a utility, uh, then the premises wiring begins at the source. So, maybe you've just got a, a temporary system and you're running off of a generator. Do we have premises wiring in such an installation? Yes, yeah we do. There's no service point because there's no utility involved but there still is a power source. So the premises wiring system is the wiring starting at the service point or the source, including pretty much everything, ending at the outlet. Okay, so looking at this photograph, we've got conductors going into the disconnect, conductors going out of the disconnect and into the unit. That is all premises wiring. All right, because the premises wiring system ends at the outlet. And the outlet in this photograph is the point, if we remember the definition, the point on the premises wiring system where current is taken to supply utilization equipment. It's right where these conductors in the liquid tight raceway, right where they make the connection to the utilization equipment. That's the outlet, that point of connection. The equipment is not an outlet. The equipment is equipment. Right? The outlet is where it connects to the equipment, and that's where the premises wiring ends. So with that in mind, what about the internal wiring of the air conditioner? Well, premises wiring does not include the interior wiring of the equipment. All of this stuff in here is just part of the equipment because it's, it's downstream of the outlet. Therefore, it cannot be part of the premises wiring system. This wiring inside of here is not part of the branch circuit because the branch circuit ends at the outlet. You might remember me saying how important it is that you understand the definition of outlet. It's one of the most fundamental and most critical definitions in the entire code book. The outlet is where the premises wiring ends. The service point or other power source is where the premises wiring system begins. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.